In this video, you will learn how to send bulk DocuSign envelopes using a CSV upload. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Sofian here. I'm a DocuSign expert who helps businesses implement DocuSign solutions. And today you will learn how to send your first bulk envelopes using a CSV. Using a CSV is the fastest way to get your DocuSign envelopes out to your recipients. This process allows you to send a lot of envelopes at the same time instead of having to create one at a time. But you can also add information to your documents by mapping the DocuSign field with the sales of your CSV. So for example, let's say that I'm a financial advisor who sells financial services and products to my clients. And I like to send the contract pre-filled so that the only thing I need to do is to sign. And because I send a lot of contracts every day, it would take me too much time sending one envelope at a time. And that's why I'm going to show you how to send bulk envelopes using a CSV with DocuSign. Let's get into it. Okay, so here's the document that I want to be able to send in bulk using DocuSign. And the reason for this is because it's a 30 page um, long document and there's multiple ways um, by which it can be filled out based on the actual situation. And I wanna make sure that my clients are uh, making the right choice and not filling out um, the document with the wrong information. That's obviously never going to happen because my clients are not experts uh, the same way that I am in, in, in what I do. So I wanna be able to fill out the document myself with every single information that relates to that one client so that the only thing they need to do is to sign the document once they receive it. And to do this, I need to be able to map the fields of the document with the fields of the CSV. So that's what I'm going to show you now. But to do this, we need two things, a Business Pro DocuSign subscription and a template. So let's just go to DocuSign and create our template. So go to template, create a new. If you haven't watched the previous video um, in which I explained step-by-step step how to create a template, make sure you do so. It's popping up on the screen right now. I'm not gonna go through in details how to create a template, but really focus on how to map the CSV to our template. So the first thing is I wanna give a name to my template. So this document is called a subscription agreement. The second thing is to upload my agreement. Then I'm gonna add the recipients to the workflow. So I set a signing order because I want my client to sign first and I'm gonna leave the name and email blank. I'm gonna add the second recipient and that's myself, the financial advisor. I'm gonna enter my name here and email. So normally we wouldn't need to add a role if we knew who the recipients were in the actual template. But if you wanna be able to use a CSV, you have to have a role, otherwise that won't work. So just make sure that you always add a role and don't just leave this blank like this, otherwise that's not gonna work. Now, I don't need any other recipients. Um, I do wanna change uh, this to something that looks a bit nicer for my client. And I'm gonna click next. Okay, so here is the first question that needs to be answered on the document. It's a single choice answer. So I'm gonna use the radio button, drop the first one on yes and the second one on no. I'm not gonna worry about the alignment for now, I'll fix that later. The second thing I wanna do is go to group label and give a name to uh, this group of radio buttons. I wanna keep it short but easy to understand because this is what I'm going to see on the CSV. So I just wanna choose a few keywords as opposed to putting the actual whole question here. Once you've given a name to the group label, you wanna give a name to each values. So this option is yes and no. So that's what I'm going to write here. Now let's do a text box together. So I can choose this one, for example, amount subscribe in dollar. So I'm gonna use a text box for this one, drag and drop it here. And then I'm gonna to go to data label and change this to amount subscribed. Now make sure that when you're adding data labels, whether it's for a group or for a value, you're not using any special character, otherwise that won't work at all. And so you can follow that same process for all your fields. I'm not going to go through each field on this document because it's about 150. Just so you know, you can add a label to the following field, text, checkbox, drop down, radio, and notes as well. So once you've added all your field, just save and close. Then from the templates page, look at your template and click on use. When this screen comes up, make sure you click on advanced edit. And here click on the little I and download the CSV template. Open the CSV. In the CSV that DocuSign has already prepared for you, every different row relates to one same envelope. So here I'm sending two envelopes, one to John and to Sophie, and I've added their emails. 
in this example, they're my email because I want to show you what the envelope looks like after I send it. But normally that would be John's or Anne Sophie's email. I also entered the amount that they are um, investing. And I also um, answered to the question if they were Canadian, yes or no. And here it's very important that um, you make sure whatever you're entering is matching exactly the label that you gave to your radio buttons in your template. So once I've done that, I can just save and go back to DocuSign and upload the CSV. So from this page, click on import a bulk list and locate your CSV. Here you get a chance to review the data before you click on finish import in case you've made a mistake and you can just click here and make any changes you'd like. Let's click on finish import. So now let's take a look at the, the contract that John has received. Let's click on review document, continue and scroll down. So the answer to the first question has already been pre-filled and the amount subscribed has already been pulled from um, normally the CSV. It should be a million, but um, as you remember, I've changed the value just before importing the CSV in the actual DocuSign web app. So that's why it's a million five hundred. Now let's take a look at Sophie's um, subscription. And for her, the answer was no. And she's investing two million dollars. And that's it. That's how you send bulk envelopes with DocuSign using CSV. Now, be very careful when, um, if you want to make any changes to the CSV, you can. The order in which the, the columns are displayed doesn't matter. You can reorganize them if you want, but make sure you don't change the actual content. The wording needs to match exactly um, with the data label you, uh, you've entered in the DocuSign app. And this is how you send bulk envelopes with DocuSign using a CSV. If you're interested in learning more about how I use DocuSign every day, check out my other videos. In the next lesson, I'll be showing you how I use DocuSign conditional logic and formula fields. If you're after some one-on-one -on -one or team training with DocuSign, you can explore my consulting options using the link in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.